So now you are able to uh, join. I think there was some technical issue earlier. Thank you, everyone. तारीख के लिए बोल So we will wait just for next two minutes and then we will start. Good morning, everyone. I am Vivek Singh and uh, I am from Tilthankar Mahavir Institute of Technology. I request everyone to kindly mute yourself. Abdul Malik, uh, I request students to kindly mute yourself. You will get a chance to have a question answer session with the guest. So good noon to all the participants. Uh, I welcome you all in the very special uh, session, a talk on problem solving and ideation organized by Tirthankar Mahavir Institute of Management and Technology and Institute Innovation Council, TMU. I thank our principal leader, Professor Vipin Jain and uh, HOD providing such a beautiful platform where the academia can in, interact to build is uh, to build something creative and new. Mm -hmm. In this context, I would like to invite today's guest, uh, Mr. Gautam Arora. Gautam is a young and dynamic mentor to few of these startups startups in India. 
Professionally, Mr. Gautam is an IT specialist working with Nagaro as technical product specialist. He has a vast experience of eight years, uh, more than eight years with eminent organizations in IT and ITS sector, like Wipro Excel Technologies, NetApp. He did his bachelor's and master's from IMS University and uh, Vellore Institute of uh, Technology, respectively. Uh, he is also uh, a professional in strategic management for, uh, and he has uh, done his program in uh, strategic management from IM Kashipur. He shares some beautiful and uh, special moments during uh, this same program with him. So I please welcome Mr. Gautam Arora to take the chair and uh, enlighten our students with his knowledge and experience. Thank you, Gautam. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Vivek ji. Thank you so much for onboarding me. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure day and uh, it's a wonderful day. I uh, hope uh, my screen is visible and I am uh, visible to everyone. Let me know if you are facing any issues. <clears throat> good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, good to see uh, such a lovely audience. Good afternoon, good afternoon sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, good afternoon, Vivek ji, just a, just one request. Can you mute uh, everyone? I would like to uh, you know address this. Uh, we can we can unmute them once we have you know the Q and A round. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So. Uh, Welcome everyone. Uh, this is a lovely session. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Gautam Arora. I am an active uh, IT professional with uh, you know close to eight years in the industry. I have done like Vivek ji already introduced myself. Uh, I have done my bachelor's from IMS and master from Velour, and I have done you know strategic management from IIM Kashipur, and I have close to eight years of experience in into IT world into you know services and product building. I have worked for Fortune 500 companies, uh, starting from Wipro, and then I landed up uh, HCL, and then I have worked into product marketing, where I have developed multiple intelligence products for NetApp. Okay, now currently I'm a product specialist uh, working with Nagaro. So you can find me everywhere on the social media. I'm an active, uh, you know, social guy. So you can reach out to me everywhere. Okay. So today's session is all about ideation and problem solving. Let me start sharing my screen. <clears throat> yeah, everyone, can you see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So in case you have any cross question, we will uh, time the session. And, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, it's a wonderful day. Sir, your voice and, is breaking. Uh, Sir, your voice is breaking. A very common niche uh, word, which is problem. And no issues, there would be some problem. We will uh, just get back to you. Hello. Ashwin, uh, kindly wait for a second. 
think there is some problem with the speaker. He will be joining just in few seconds. Yeah, uh, I'm back. Uh, can you see yeah. me? Yes, yes, definitely. Please oh, start. Sorry, sorry for that. Sorry for that. Yeah. So is my screen visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So I've given my, uh, you know, a brief uh, introduction that uh, I'm into product building and I have mentored, you know, a couple of startups in Bangalore. And currently I'm mentoring two of the startup in the space of uh, organic milk. And one of the startup which we are, uh, I'm mentoring is the, in the space of traveling. So that is a brief introduction about myself. And today let's target our, uh, you know, webinar with problem solving and ideation. So before I start, uh, I would like to, you know, uh, thanks to show my gratitude to Think Thankar Mahavi University for uh, organizing such a meaningful uh, webinar. A uh, special thanks to Professor Vipin Jain, Principal, and Vivek uh, D. Singh for organizing this uh, meaningful uh, webinar. So uh, let me just start, break this uh, webinar into uh, two common problems with we have, uh, two uh, common uh, words we have. So first, we'll, we'll start with the problem, okay? So I will try to address how we identify a problem and uh, what exactly a problem meaning. Okay. <clears throat> Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. So uh, people around us are very crazy people we have, right? But nobody understand that a problem is nothing but a, it's a situation. And that situation can be a global or it can be a personal. So my, my what I want to do, focus here is uh, being a human, you are a, you are born observator, right? So this is a common tendency with you to analyze a problem. So let me just tell you what exactly a problem is. A problem is a situation. It can lead to a personal problem and it could be a global problem as well. And a problem can be identified as a difficulty to perform any XYZ action. Suppose there is a problem and I am not able to perform that XYZ action. So I would, being an observer, I can call that as a problem. A problem has multiple dimensions. And what I mean by dimension is any area of concern can be a problem. Any condition that has to be improved can be a problem. Any difficulty that has to be eliminated in the system, in the process can be a problem. It's we, it's our responsibility to observe that. So here I come to make you understand that problem is, uh, is a very underrated word. People try to uh, don't try to understand this, but it's a very clean statement that it's an observation. If you are a good observer, then definitely you will see so many problems around us and one has to be just aware of it. Okay. So I'm just breaking this down is how a problem looks like. I mean, we say a problem, what it looks like. Do you know what it looks like? Actually, nobody knows it. Nobody knows that this can be a problem. It's always observed. People around has, uh, us has, you know, uh, has observed so many problems around us. And now today we have a solution for it. Okay. So I'm just giving you a very lame example of problem. This, this is our problem. Do you see the picture? Yes, sir. The picture? Okay. Yes, so sir. What is that being displayed here? Sir, polluted water. That's correct. So do you understand? Do you, can you observe that this can be a problem? Yeah. yeah. So polluted water is a problem, which has been there into human uh, ecosystem for many years. So the, the early age human were facing a lot of problem with the polluted water. And now today we have a solution for, for it. And the solution is water filters. Today, the technology... Yeah, I, I would really just to uh, keep yourself on. And that particular solution is something which has addressed our problem of pollution, polluted water. So this is a very lame example, which I wanted to showcase you because problem is something which can be a basic, but we don't realize it. So polluted water is a problem back then. And today we have so many 
technologies around us which is helping us to clean to have a clean water and thus we have a solution for it another problem which i wanted to uh, discuss with you is navigation navigation was a basic problem with our uh, ancestors so back then the troops were uh, you know following uh, so many uh, there were so many methods to follow the direction there were winds there were sun rays there were direction there were maps but nobody had a concluded solution to it we are thankful to have roger e easton in 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 during 1900 we have a global position system which was discovered by him and today we are thankful enough to have a global positioning system navigation has given us so many aspects of uh, how our navigation can be sorted out so today if we are tracking our car we have a gps system where we can target anyone we can track we can monitor so today we have a world class solution around us somebody has observed this navigation as a problem and thus today we have a solution for it we have global positioning system so i wanted to discuss this with you that problem is an observation and you and we and everyone in this webinar can observe it and create a solution around it do you understand that yes sir yeah. <clears throat> yes sir yes sir yes so in both the examples humans observed a space to fulfill the gap am i right there was a gap in both the system polluted water and gps so the navigation and polluted water there was a gap which human observed thousands of thousands of methods were attempted to over, overcome the problem and fortunately few methods worked successfully and implemented so i'm just wondering had the solution been in only in the brains never identified never experiment just curious to imagine how our lives would have been without water purifier and gps can you imagine your life without a purifier in today's world no right can you imagine your life without a gps system in today's age no right we have google maps which is helping us incredibly to find any place in the world just tap on your phone and just open this app and you can search any place we have so many diverse uh, so gps helped us in so many ways so had this solution been only in brains we could have never identified the solution around it our ancestors or our superiors the humans who identified this as a problem they came with an idea and they built solution around it so i want to address this that solution is something which we need to thrive for if you see a problem come with a solution experiment it fail it and then retry it so this is just something which i wanted to highlight that solution has to be never in brains we need to jot this down we need to experiment and be curious about it okay my next slide would be just to uh, understand your uh, you know uh, your uh, awareness humans are born creative do you agree with me or disagree yes sir yes sir. Sir, i agree i agree yeah we humans are born creative no matter who the human is if you are a human you are a creative a human can be creative in all ways like it a human can be creative in mechanical way one can be uh, you know creative in uh, artistic way one can be good in the, you know building intelligence uh, you know customer intelligence or many product building intelligence so everyone is born with this particular uh, you know creativity in us if we are a human we are a born creative so i'm just sharing two live examples with me which happened with me and today the world is you know disrupting it so back in 2010 what happened with me i was in college okay so being a college graduate i was searching for a rental place okay to stay so the answer was only property mafias were ruling this space and charging huge commission to get you a place to rent so being a college student i was in a in a in a in a you know way to find out a solution where you know can we have something uh, i mean we were not aware we, i didn't see this as a problem but, but this was a problem and you know what today we have so many solution around it we have nest away we have stayzilla we have airbnb which is nothing but giving us end to end solution from identification of tenants and landlords to paying rents online this disrupted the market of property hunting had this been into my mind in back in 2010 i would have built a solution for it okay i saw this as a personal problem but i never 
imagine that there could be a solution around it. This is something which is very personal and I, I wanted to share with you. Being in college, you must also be facing so many problems around you and you need to try for the solution for it. Second problem which I felt in my college days is being a college graduate, I was searching for a huge organization from a trusty workplace. And the answer was nothing was available in the market in 2010. And today we have hundreds of websites where you can buy a refurbished cell phone. In fact, with warranty, buyback plans and pay later plans. This is what this has disrupted the market of used cell phones. In 2010, this was a problem with me, my personal problem, but I never came across. I never realized that there could be a solution around it. So problems are around us. We just need to observe and thrive for it. We just need to identify it and work around it. Are you guys with me? Are you following with me? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes. yes sir. Yes, sir. So I believe you, everyone is in college stage, right? And you must also be facing a lot of problem around you. You could be in a small town, a big town, no matter. But the problem always exists. Agree with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I want yes, you to prepare for such things. There, there are multiple hacks around it, okay? I will just uh, talk about it in my later slides, but I wanted to realize this. The problem is something which exists in the ecosystem, in human ecosystem. You just need to work on it. You just need to observe it. Yes, sir. Yeah. After, you know, problem, there is a, another uh, word which is very underrated, ideation. So do you, do you, do you know what exactly ideation is? I know I'm sharing my screen, but do you have a philosophy about it? I want any one of you to just give me a you know simple example of ideation or something which you understand about idea. Anyone? Uh, sir, idea is something about thought. Uh, thought. Like uh, I have a thought, uh, I have a plan uh, for some, uh, as you said, problem. Mm -hmm. So that's idea and ideation is uh, uh, working upon it, uh, implementing it and creating a solution. Wonderful. Thank you for answering. Uh, yeah. It's like an alternative solution, uh, like an, uh, the best uh, solution to the problem. Right. Thank you, Mega, for answering thing. But do you understand that we always think about an idea? Did you ever create a roadmap around it? Do you ever experiment it? I mean... I, I understand you are college students. You have so many ideas around you. But did you observe that one should work on it? The, always, the idea remains always in your mind. You never write it down. You never create a thought of, about it. You never create a roadmap for it. You never experiment it. That is the problem. That is the problem why ideation is so underrated. Uh, an ideation is simply a form of three steps. An idea, which you already have, you just need to develop it and you need to implement it. So that sums to ideation. Idea is, which it, according to me, idea is IQ. You be a curious soul, be an observer and identify the, uh, you know, the, the disruption in the market, the process where you want to see the improvement. And once you come across that, then definitely your idea is ready for it. It just, you need to develop it and you need to implement it. So what happens, you know, there are so many miscommunication that uh, you can be an entrepreneur only if you have a great idea. So there is never a, you know, process of great idea. It's always an idea which we need to scale it up, which we need to enterprise it. It's always starts with a basic foundational, you know, benchmark and there it goes. Are you following with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. So yes. I want to clear this picture is IDH is something which you have in your naked eyes, which you are seeing being a curious soul. You just observe it, develop it and implement it. This is what we call it ideation is one of the concept of innovation. So this is how you innovate. Once you have an idea, you have a blue, you know, you have, a, it, it can be silly. It can be stupid, but you work on it. You develop something and then you implement it. That is what we call ideation, the true ideation. Yes. Okay. I just want to give you a, some, some reminder. Okay. Just a reminder that January is already gone 
and we have touched February. Close to 10% of the year is already completed. Do you understand that? Do you even realize that 10% of the year is already completed? If you're still waiting to start something that you promised yourself in the beginning of the year, wait no more. Now is definitely the time to start with it. So we have, we, we human have a tendency to, to always think about it. We always think and bring every idea in our mind, but we never create a roadmap. We never experiment it. We never interact with others to start a brainstorming. So let's come to a forum and let's start building something. So we don't have that practice in our ecosystem. That is a problem. So I want you to understand this. If you have any idea, connect with your peers, connect with your family, understand that have a brainstorming session, develop a, you know, it, it, it can be small scratch idea, but I want you to start. You will be 1% ahead of everyone. If you start something which you develop and with those learning, if you can help at least 1% of yourself in implementing that idea, you will be 1% ahead of everyone. This is what I wanted to address today that don't keep your idea only in your brains, put them, write them, Discuss with your peers, start breaking this down, have some breaking sessions with them and then come to a conclusion. I just want to give you some hacks around it. Okay. So, you know, uh, uh, when you talk about idea and, you know, entrepreneurship, product right. building, so many people are, you know, misconfused that uh, it could be a challenging task. No, it's never. There are some hacks around it. Okay. List down all your possible ideas that you have in your mind, be it silly, crazy, stupid, whatever it is. Just write them, draft them. Sort them which requires a solution in case there is where there is an existing problem, why you still want to improve it. So being a human, you are seeing some process, but that process is incomplete or maybe you have a hurdle in that process and you still want to improve it, write it down. Requires a solution, build a use case, focus on the use cases of the problem. Eventually, the maturity will appear once you address one after another. So if you start building an idea and you prepare a use case for that idea. So once you land up in, in, in the form of, you know, a brainstorming session or start building it, then definitely your maturity will appear and then you can address all the solutions <laughs> around it. Prepare hypothetical scenarios like what if, again, never, suppose. Create all the hypothetical scenarios which you have in your mind because this will give you a maturity to understand your product, your idea from an end user perspective. Draft a roadmap, design a solution, take a reference from the existing. There is no harm. There is no harm to take a reference from the existing. Like today we have Airbnb. Everyone knows Airbnb? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I think most of us once in a life would be using Airbnb. I'm sure about it. If you want, if you see that as a solution, but still you want to improve something, which is your own, you want to create your own USP in that particular market, then take a reference from that existing one and build something where you can expedite it. You can improve the process. If you, so suppose today you are building a, you know, today you are booking a ticket and you land up in a, in a website called uh, Exigo or Go IBGO, but still you have a problem with it. You are facing some solution defect or there are something which can be expedited. You take a reference from there, build a solution, start building, prepare the use cases and eventually the maturity in your system will appear. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. There is no yes, harm to take the reference from the existing world. We have a tendency that we see something else and build something. We always see others and take a reference, take an example from them. So it's never, you know, it's that you need to start something, build to something, uh, you know, from the scratch. This, this happened very rarely that you want to build something which is from the scratch. People build process and mature process and efficient process. This is something which you need to focus. Take an example from the existing, which is already in the market. Design your solution, how you can be better than them, and then take it forward. Create your own USP and bang on. These are some of the hacks which will be helpful to you to understand how a problem can be, you know, uh, break down into multiple parts and create uh, use cases, create hypothetical scenario, take a reference from the existing one, create your own USP and bang on.
you will be able to at least achieve something better than nothing do you agree with me yes sir yes, yes sir <clears throat> yes sir so there is a wonderful uh, you know uh, uh, theorem inside our uh, you know strategies which we call as uh, swot analysis do you ever heard about it yes sir yes sir yeah. yes, so sir. being a student you must have uh, understood that swot analysis something which you need to focus on four key aspects okay which we have like being a human you have your strength your weaknesses your opportunities and your threats right prepare a draft a solution draft a framework around you that what you have in your strength what is your weaknesses what is your opportunities what are the threats which can encounter you and if you are creating a framework which has this swot analysis then half of your work is done so once you are done with your use cases and you are done with your swot analysis my dear you are already done with the solutioning you are 100 steps further than who are still thinking about the idea which is still in their brains you are 100 steps further than them do you agree with me yes sir yeah yes sir sir i have a very clear understanding of do you know about uh, mvp did, did you ever heard this term minimal viable product a solution no sir okay so it's a beautiful uh, you know theorem which is which exists in the market minimal viable product so what it says is if you have an idea right and you are thinking about it don't jump to a bigger picture of it you know you want to enterprise it you you want to monetize it or you have x y z uh, thought process in your mind bring them down minimal viable viable product is something which will give you a space to develop it for a limited audience like suppose today you want to uh, start something in a used car okay for let's take an example you want to start something in a used car market okay and you are thinking about something you are not capable enough to design a website which is very true okay so from the first day you cannot you cannot design your website right what you can do is you create your own whatsapp group you target your idea to a limited audience you experiment it you take reviews from them do surveys and then improve this way you are creating a minimal viable product of your idea and releasing that to a limited audience this way you will be experimenting your idea very shortly and you will be able to take the reviews from them and do a survey and thus you can improve your product did you understand this yes sir does, does it like something which can be helpful in your idea yes sir definitely yeah. yes, sir. i want you to understand this don't jump to a bigger picture start with a basic scratch target your idea to a limited audition audience that audience can be your own family your own family you have a bigger family like we indians have a big 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 families right target them be make them as a end user start experimenting your ideas with them this way you will be able to experiment faster if you are failing then you will fail faster and if we, they are the one they are giving you reviews then your reviews are also better and that will you know shorter your time in taking reviews from the end customer which will be your next next picture right so if you have something in your mind and you are creating an mvp this way you can improve your you know product or idea and you can take a survey and improve it further in just a span of you know 2 uh, 3 months suppose you have an idea you are targeting in your family and your extended family you experiment it you take reviews you do surveys and improve so this way you can mature your solution to a bigger to an enterprise level in in a shorter span of time instead of you know funding and you know looking for a funding and starting your pilot projects and discussing you can do your own thesis your own improvement do you agree with me yes sir yeah so this is a very clean very smart way of experimenting your ideas and trust me guys this will help you a lot to create your own viable product minimal viable product and take help with this particular theorem and you will be at least 
टेन परसेंट अहेड ऑफ योर आइडिया एक्सपेरिमेंटेड विद योर लवली ऑडियंस टेक रिव्यूज डू सर्विस एंड इम्प्रूव योर प्रोडक्ट्स so do you understand that the world is no more the older age right today we are so modular in this new world we have so many government quotas schemes to fund you in your project right if you are done with your minimal viable project and you have a pitch ready for you you can always reach out to government quotas there are so many schemes which are running in your state government in your central government which can fund in your projects there are so many social platforms which are open to hear your ideas and solution so once you experiment your products in a limited audition and you come up with your pitch and start you know projecting in in the social platform then definitely your ideas will be heard instead of going unprepared you have something which you have a reviews and you have worked on your ideas and improved within the course of time there are so many angel investors who are ready to fund your pilot projects it just you need to start something with your own how many of you are seeing shark tanks nowadays i think most of you right yes sir mm. yes sir yes sir is it fascinating that you know people around the world people around the country like currently i'm taking example of india they are coming with your there are silly ideas and they you know you know what what is happening at shark tank their ideas are already on a social platform so if they are presenting something there their idea is already published their their uh, you know uh, their technology or their uh, you know agencies or their product name is already going viral so half of your work is already done if you get such platforms where you are able to you know perform and uh, experiment and present your ideas then half of your work is done the world will get to know that you are working on something people will start approaching you this is a very next generation jack which you have in the in the ecosystem the government will identify you somebody somebody you never know somebody will address you somebody will acknowledge you and reach out to you if you have something in your hand but that hand should not be in your ideas okay not in in your brains you have something in your hand which is something working we you are already experiment experimenting it with a set of people then only you will be able to show your credential and people will acknowledge that your effort so this is a very beautiful next generation jack you have the government is open about your ideas social platform of uh, you know giving you an opportunity to showcase your ideas angel investors they are ready to fund in your pilot projects do you understand this yes sir yeah so we have a very beautiful ecosystem in 2022 we are much ahead of everything if you are start building start building now think about it start experimenting and then the world will acknowledge you now you have a beautiful jack around you the government the social platform angel investor everyone is ready to acknowledge you it just you need to step further you need to be just 1% ahead of everyone that's it that's it and this will give you a lot of acknowledgement at least you will be able to showcase your ideas which is not in just in your brains you have something concrete in your head definitely definitely yes i mean this sums my you know today's presentation thank you so much for being awesome you can write all your queries to my email id gautam arora 1411 at the rate gmail.com you can find me on linkedin i am very active you have any thought you need any any sort of preparation you need any thesis any theorem or you have anything in your mind and you need to just start connecting dots you can always reach to reach out to me i am always available you just need to connect with me so this definitely sir yeah so this ends this session of you know two problem you know two words around us one is problem and one is ideation i think if this slide if this session can help you in 1% then our purpose will be solved we'll be very happy if at least half of you or i believe if the strength is today 100 right 100 of you should start working on it and if you are following this pitch and 
you are able to do 1% good thing about yourself, right? Your ideas, if you are putting it down and start working on it, then I think our purpose to conduct this session will be done. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah. of course, sir. So I'm open about your questions and, uh, you know, if you have any things around you and if you want to discuss and I'm, I'm, I'm really open about it, we can discuss here. Okay, tell me one thing. How many of you see yourself as a curious soul? Do you understand a curious soul? Yes, sir. Can you... How many of you understand curious soul and how many think themselves they are a curious soul? They observe things. Or I think myself as a curious person. Wonderful. Do you have anyone else who think who can be a curious soul? I think everyone, if we have a strength of 91 people around us, everyone is a curious soul. It's just you need to do a little bit of introspection and then you can be aware of your own, own ideas, your own process building, your own thought process. Everyone is a curious soul. I want you to acknowledge your curiousness and build something your own. Don't just keep your ideas in your mind. Start preparing, start preparing for it. So, Gautam ji, uh, there are some questions which uh, I have got from students. Okay. At okay. Box. Yeah. So, they, they are just curious about uh, that. Um, are there some examples uh, where you have seen um, some startups growing from a scratch of idea, like where you have uh, contributed, like where you have supported with your inputs? Yeah, definitely, Vivek ji. Uh, so, uh, one of the very uh, key aspect which I have is the in the area of organic milk, which uh, we discussed in the IAM Kashipur uh, you know, forum. So I have been uh, an active member in that particular startup where we were facing a lot of issue with the you know supply chain management and uh, the you know the audience, the marketing stuff. So I'm in a very key active member in that particular startup, and I'm starting uh, and you know I'm contributing in scaling that particular startup up. Uh, yeah. So do you want me to give a example on that or do you want me to show my contribution towards it? You may just a little bit elaborate that how uh, that small idea uh, developed uh, to an organization or developed into a business or a solution to the point. Just a little bit so that they can understand that yes, it, it really happens. Yeah. Like there are there might be so many names or brands right now which actually started from scratch yeah and they are now big names but still there are so many names we don't know and then and still they are um are, and they, they are working they are doing something good yeah and uh, this is this is how i want uh, that the students should understand that like if you have heard about uh ola airbnb and A, so these are brands they have just evolved from scratch yeah. But there are so many other names also which you we don't know. So just that example that can help them to understand. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Let me just open that. Okay. a small outline that started this was the idea which uh, that startup wanted to do and this was the problem and from there they started and now they have landed up with uh, beautiful results yeah yeah definitely just give me a second uh, uh, Vivek ji
Um, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you see yes, this lady? Yes, sir. Do you see this lady? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Her name is Shilpi Sinha. She is a 27 years old woman entrepreneur, and she is working on a daily dairy startup. You know how this idea, idea, you know how this startup came into the picture. I'm just giving you a very, uh, you know, very inspirational thing. She is a very good friend of mine, and I am helping her in raising her startup. And I'm a very key uh, active member to her startup. Okay, so what happened? Shilpi was in the in the town. She was, uh, you know, she came to Bangalore, and she realized that the milk in Bangalore is not optimal. It's not. It's too much of adulteration is there, and she was not able to drink. She is. She was very fond of milk, but she was not finding the real milk which you you, you she used to have in you know Ranchi. She hails from Ranchi and she came back to uh, Bangalore to start there. You know, uh, she had started her working, uh, you know, history in the in the in the Bangalore. So she came to Bangalore and she started realizing that milk is something which is not optimal. It is not healthy in in Bangalore market. And this idea, this this was a very basic idea which came in the picture, and she started researching about it. This 27 years old, back in uh, 2017, she started with an idea of having an organic milk. Very, uh, you know, today across the world, people are working on it. People have so many, you know, established platforms. But this lady took a, you know, step towards this uh, disrupted market and started building their own product. So what happened? I was, you know, mentoring this lady in, in 2018. So the idea was very basic that we want to have an affordable organic marketing, uh, organic uh, milk, okay, which we were not finding it. So today we have so many established brand, right? We have Amul, we have Ananda, but none of them was, was giving us uh, the taste which we wanted. She was, uh, uh, you know, she was looking for the purest form of uh, milk, which which has less preservatives, which has uh, zero adulteration and which is being sourced directly from the uh, villagers. So what happened? We, we, you know what, what happened to us? We got the milk from the village and we set up a stall in front of a society. And we had some 20 liters of milk from us. Okay. We got it from the village and we started our stall. None of the, none of the, you know, uh, the residents in the building bought our milk. 20 liters of milk was wasted on that particular day. We were, sh we, we, were, we were thinking that all our milk will be sold out in just in a span of one hour, but none of them started, the, none of them, you know, even looked at us because we were, we were just experimenting with no, you know, hats and tail. So we thought that this is something which we need to build. We need to build an ecosystem around it. We need to start people mentoring around it. So what happened? We started, you know, with a very small idea of giving a webinar. So we, what happened, we tied up with the apartment. We told them that we wanted to conduct a webinar in the society because people were not knowing us, right? Why will they, somebody as an end customer will buy a product from us? We can be infected, right? We, the milk can be, who is saying that our milk is credible. So we need to justify them just to justify. We started to have a webinar. So we tied up with the apartment. We take a you know a small one hour session with the apartment or everyone, and we gave them who we are, and why we came to them to start selling the milk. And trust me, after that session, we were able to reach to fifty liters a day. People acknowledge our effort. They saw what improvement we have in our milk. We have given. See, it was a very basic testing we which we came across. So the world will acknowledge it once you appear to them nobody is going to acknowledge you because you are not doing something you yeah. need to start working on it this 27 yeah. years old women sorry continue continue yeah so we we started with a webinar we understood we make them understand how a pure milk can be available in these metro cities and and that too at an affordable price we showcase them how we are sourcing this milk from a villager and bringing it down to them. It is a real time mechanism. We were sourcing the milk and we were delivering on time. So this way we were like on the first day, 
our 20 liters of milk was wasted. We started with 1100 rupees, okay? And our 1100 money was wasted because none of them bought us. And next day we conducted a session and we were able to reach 50 liters a day. 50 people bought the milk which we showcase in the webinar. So this way, at least we jumped to a conclusion that the world should acknowledge what is our ecosystem and how we are disrupting this market. So that was a very basic step which we took forward. So once we are done with that webinar, we, we thought that there is a huge potential in this market. And then we started branding ourselves. So we started, you know, packaging our own bottle. We didn't uh, took uh, the help from, uh, you know, marketing. Like we have plastic thing, right? Plastic uh, wrappers where we can uh, put the milk and uh, supply. So we opted for a bottle, like glass bottle. Be why glass bottle? Because the adulteration, the mixing of bacteria will be minimal in the glass bottle. So if we are using, uh, that was the main USP with us, okay? We started with the glass bottle and we started distributing that milk around that particular area. So this happened because we started connecting the session apartment after apartment. So there was so many apartment around that area. We started giving webinar and everyone in that uh, apartment, at least if we have a small audience who are ready to buy our milk, we were successful in that particular segment. So this way we increased our baseline from 50 liters to 1000 liters in a day. We have reached to a scale of 1000 liters a, a day. So this happened in a span of just six months. In six months, we were able to project the idea to 1000 people who are ready to buy our milk. So this was a very clean statement, which we had that we want to disrupt this market because Bangalore was a market where the organic milk was already supplying, but they were uh, you know, uh, bringing at, uh, at a cost of 100 rupees per liter and not everyone can afford 100 liters of uh, 100 rupees liter milk. So our, our USP was keep the, you know, milk price very minimal. So we had a very clean picture that the milk price will be 62 per liter. Okay. That was an affordable range for an organic milk. But the challenge which we were facing is we were not able to come to a return on investment because the, the money which we were putting in sourcing from the village and getting it down to Bangalore and then starting distributing. So we were not able to reach to a conclusion that this will be a profitable margin. We were ending up in making a so much of loss. So what we thought is we tied up with the small villagers. Okay. So when, when, when we started, uh, you know, procuring all the uh, milk from the villages, right? We had a tie up with them instead of giving that a uh, brace price. We were starting, we started giving that the uh, profit from that. So today for, for example, if we have sourced hundred liters of milk from person A, we are not giving them a base price. We are sharing the profit with them this way. They got a respect of, you know, being attached to us. They were ready to contribute and you know, soon after when we stabilized with 100 liters, right, we reached to a conclusion that everyone needs a respect, right? We were giving a lot of respect to the villagers. They were the direct channel for the companies, biggest companies like Amul, Ananda, Akshakalpa. They were the uh, feeders Gautam to them. Yeah. Uh, Gautam, thank you so much for elaborating uh, the example and your direct experience. Yeah. Uh, as uh, we have limit uh, up to 130 only. So okay. I interrupted you. Yeah. Uh, students, do you have any question regarding if you uh, want to, uh, if you want to ask to the guest? So I have a one question. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, so how do you tackle your competitors? So competitor. Yeah. So competitors come into the picture when you take an example from them. For example, we have so many, like take an example of Ola and Uber, right? They are competitors. So according to me, I need to just break this chain into a simple format of how I can improve this process. Like uh, I have so many uh, theorems around it. One of the theorem is TAT. TAT means turnaround time. How I can improve this turnaround time of an end customer. If something which I can be able to achieve this TAT, with which is better than my competitor, then I think I'm ahead of them. This is one example which I follow in my, uh, you know, mentorship. Anyone else? Uh, sir, um, actually, I just want to know mm -hmm. if you are giving same uh, service and your mm -hmm. competitors also is giving a same service, then how do you grow and how do you manage that thing? 
so this is already a very disruptive my, my, you know market that uh, you know sim aggregator right in service providers if you take an example of uh, airtel yes, vodafone right this is something which you need to acknowledge that what a end customer want what are their needs how you can build a relationship with them how you can retain them so that they can be in your network right so this comes this eventually grows because they want you want to build a relation with with them not just a business relation you need to bring them on a forum where you are personally connected with them you know what is happening today's world these service aggregator are building end to end one to one relation with them i being a service uh, consumer of airtel a representative from airtel approaches me every third week so that they have a cross communication they have a single word with them this way we are maintaining a relationship with directly with the consumer and this helps to retain a consumer i can be easily migrate to vodafone but this relationship which i am having every third week with with my service provider is helping me to retain and this is how you can grow as a brand this personal relationship is something which is keeping you ahead okay so thank you so much sir yeah anyone else okay so uh, i hope the session was beneficial it was interesting yeah. it was interactive and uh, so this was the first kind of session from uh, timit mm -hmm. uh, on the platform of iic and uh, we believe that uh, uh, like such kind of sessions will definitely help people and to uh, think a little bit more on the aspect of uh, uh, giving a solution to a problem uh, um, in one hour definitely nobody will be able to actually reach out to the uh, solutions uh, we this is a, a time being process and day by day um, with the support of government with the support of universities with the support of faculty members and people like you the ecosystem in the uh, in the country will be uh, will emerge and definitely the thought process of students will also change from not only getting uh, 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 or striving for a job but also to start something of your own thank you so much gautam ji for uh, uh, accepting the invitation to uh, to uh, to ex uh, to express your experience with the students uh, only with one call i also thank the uh, platform uh, iic for providing such a wonderful opportunity for all these students i also thank uh, all the uh, students that they actively participated Uh, i thank uh, principal sir i thank hod and i thank everyone for participating in this event thank you so much god thank you vivek ji thank you everyone uh, it was a lovely session thank you so much sir thank you so much sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you everyone. thank you sir thank you great session great thank session sir thank you so much sir